everybody and welcome back to another long overdue episode of Jurassic World Alive. It is always a long overdue episode uh, when we do this. Oh, also, hold on, let me just turn my fan on so I don't boil up and die while I'm in here, yes! Also, before we get into it, friggin' T-Rex! We've sold over half of them and I think it's been like less than a week. So if you haven't got your own T-Rex now, uh, unfortunately the 10% offer uh, only lasted for like a couple of days. I think it was the weekend, so you, that, that doesn't work anymore. But you can still get it. And remember, you get a trading card. But I can't show you the card, but if you go on my Twitter, it'll be there. Anyway, go get them in the link description down below. Bye-bye. So what brings us back to Jurassic World Alive, you might wonder? Well, uh, the reason why I haven't made a video on Jurassic World Alive in a while is literally because there isn't much going on, if we're gonna be honest. <laughs> like, uh, the update came out, um, and the teams changed a little bit. Like, you know, the OP teams. Basically, um, two new, uh, like, flocks kind of came into it. The Aladrius, that thing. Uh, so this is used quite a bit, and it's, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't use it, personally, but you, I've seen a lot of people use that. And also, a lot of people use this one, the Ardent to go Nathus. And the reason for that is because it has a great way to not attack something, which is great to stop Ankylos Lux from hurting you, which is the decelerating side flap. Uh, it also has a definite alert frenzy, which I think allows it to hit twice um, and also get a speed boost. The fence shattering rampage is great as well. The alert flock, so when you switch in, you gain health, is really good. Uh, everybody now has the Indonemies, but this that was kind of... I I think most people had that anyway as soon as the game pretty much updated uh, and added it to the game however uh one of the things coming to oh yeah hold on here we go we've got quetzalcoatlus gen 2 yeah that this thing came out like two seconds ago and i completely forgot to show it in the video also one of the atrociraptors as well um so this is quite nice that we've actually got a quetzalcoatlus that looks like the one from dominion uh, oh, rate the app. <laughs> never. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I would never rate it. Anyway, <laughs> it's microtransaction too heavy. Like, honestly, this aside, quick side note, I probably would never recommend Jurassic World Alive because the thing is, you want to get to the point where you can play in the top levels, but you'll never get there unless you spend money. And I can't, in all fairness, promote, well, not promote, but like suggest a game uh, like this that is so just heavily reliant on like, microtransactions and that's the meta and that is also one of the reasons why I haven't been playing this too often or making videos on it is because as soon as the meta changed and they added that update in guess where my ranking went so I was in like the top 100 and I was kind of confident I felt good I was like yeah I know what I'm doing I know what to come up against what kind of defeats what now I'm like rank oh god I don't even know uh, like 300 um, and it's literally because I don't have dinosaurs maxed up that need to be maxed up. So I don't have the Compsoraptor. I don't have uh, this guy. And unfortunately, oh, I've had to freaking get it. Uh, the Alberta Servia. Everyone in my alliance who's donated Alberta Sword DNA. Thank you. Mwah, big kisses. Uh, <laughs> I think when you get to level 29, you're kind of okay. Like level 30 makes a little bit of a difference. But 29 is good. I haven't quite got it there, unfortunately. Um, and it's just, it's so obvious like, especially with the incubators that come out, it's like, oh, you want Rexy? Yeah, here's Rex. You want to pay money? Here's Rexy. Oh, the new thing? The new Indominus Rex hybrid? Uh, here's the incubator. Give us money. Money, 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 money. It drained me. Um, not only of money, because it did, uh, but also just seeing it so blatantly. Like, I know that everyone has said in front of me, you know, don't spend money on the game. But the thing is, I, I wanted to do that because if they nerfed it, I could have something to complain about. Because, you know, some people that, you know, may want to spend that incubator and then they get kind of screwed over. I, you know, I wanted to be the voice there as well of. Um, but now it's like, oh, well, you cannot stay in the top 100 unless you spend money. Because there will be a new thing that comes out. And unless you've, you're like 100% active on the game all day, every day, um, you're not probably not going to have it. And even then, some of the dinosaurs like Albertosaurus that I need for this hybrid... You can't find it in the wild. It doesn't exist. <laughs> so it's like, you can only get it through sanctuaries uh, or buying incubators or donations. And, you know, unless people already have it maxed up, they're not going to donate the DNA because they want to save it for themselves. Which is why I'm... Thank you very much for everyone who's been very um, unselfish and has donated DNA for me. But all this aside, again, the reasons why I haven't made a video. There is a reason why I am making this video, though. Game Press. 
You may like them, you may hate them, I don't care, whatevs. What they do is they data mine the game, which is basically, as soon as the game updates, they dr like they have a look at the, the code and the data that's in it. I don't exactly know how they do it. Um, but when they go through the lines of code, you know, all that stuff that um, Arnold, Ray Arnold did, um, they occasionally find things, and they have found something in the code that's very interesting. Um, now, I make sure to say that this is Game Press and from their article, because last time I did this and I didn't say it was from Game Press, I had uh, Ludia on me being like, you should say it's from Game Press. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to bring up the article now here. Basically, they found something very interesting because we've had Ascenazote creatures, we've had uh, lizards and um, some mammals in the game, uh, but we haven't had, you know, aquatic creatures. We haven't had uh, something that was in Jurassic park builder and that was arthropods you know insects giants giant insects and stuff and i was a bit hesitant when i saw this because they found this for a dinosaur a creature called alacranix and it says like a modern scorpions the hyaline layer of the alacranix's exoskeleton reacts to uv light causing this giant arachnid to glow in the dark now if you know anything about scorpions maybe you do if you shine a uv light on a scorpion it it glows like one of those things you'd put on your ceiling as a kid that would glow in the dark and it looks exactly the same when i was reading through this article there's a couple more dinosaurs in here there was this one the sundga scorpius and this description reads, Unlike the stingers of most scorpions, the tail of the sun Scorpius bears no venom. Instead, the creature's venom is contained in the yellow barbs on its back and tail, which can paralyze at the slightest touch. Now, when I read this, the sun Scorpius, I thought to myself, well, we have a Scorpius Rex in the game already, right? Like a scorpion. So, and this thing has spikes on it and it paralyzes like it did in Capra Cretaceous, the series in which it's from. But I would have left it at that. However, that other one, uh, there's also another one, the Pulma Scorpius. Uh, the ancient, this ancient scorpion lives in the Carboniferous period. Some fossils suggest it could grow more than two feet in length. And that seems to be the base. So you get lots of Pulma Scorpius and then you hybridize it into these other dinosaurs. I know which one's more rare or whatever. The fact that it says like modern scorpions and then it talks about the layer and the, now they're saying about this fossil. Uh, yes, it does appear that for the first time since... Jurassic Park Builder, I'm pretty sure we are getting arthropods in the game, which is very exciting because uh, unlike, you know, I mean, everything that's prehistoric is uh, fascinating and exciting. Um, and we have not seen uh, a creature like this in so long. It has been far too long. And thank God, finally, we are getting something here. And I I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing looks like. Um, and, you know, it's a new animation, for instance. Like, oh, that's something to look forward to. And not only is it, you know, a new animation for the scorpion itself, but it's hybrid. You know, they're probably going to have their own animations. And that's something that was always so apparent when I played Jurassic Park Builder back in the, <laughs> back in the old days, um, that animations were what people came to the game for. They wanted to see... They, every time you saw a new dinosaur that just copied or lifted animations from another dinosaur, I think we all were like... Oh, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> you know, you want to see a dinosaur act different. That's why people have their favorites, like Pokemon, for God's sake. But... Um, not only do you have these uh, scorpion hybrids, you've got Pyroraptor Gen 2. So, this, a bit like what we saw with Quetzalcoatlus Gen 2, would appear to be the one from Dominion. Uh, the description for this reads, The feathered Pyroraptor Gen 2 will be more colorful than the Velociraptor, but is just as dangerous. This dinosaur is also an excellent tree climber. Interesting. Why they're calling it a tree climber and not an ice freaking swimmer because that's what it should be <laughs> if it is and i'm assuming that's where they're going with it because come on it's a pyroraptor and we had dominion uh they indicated we'd get we'd be getting this is from a uh, game press more gen 2 creatures and it looks like they are following up on this over after gen 2 quite a gen 2 are coming alive in 2.18 and pyroraptor might be following with gen 2 versions in the future interesting uh, there was a couple more where we seen tiger or oh, wait was it red 
I can't even remember. We got some uh, Atrociraptor, and there was supposed to be, I think, four, four uh, different Atrociraptors that were in the movie. God, I can't even remember. Like, they were never even, at, le at least with the Raptor Squad, you had, like, Blue, Echo, Delta, Charlie. And with the Atrociraptors, they just gave them names because of Jurassic World. I forgot. <laughs> That's the only reason. The only reason that the Atrociraptors had names was because marketing, advertising. They didn't have them in the movie. So yes, we got this one. We've got Ghost, which was supposed to be, you know, it's it's different. It's a bit like blue. It's got a stripe. Uh, and then you had red. So now we're having Tiger. One of four lethal Atrociraptors designed to kill. Tiger is a skilled hunter capable of pursuing its prey even across rooftops and densely packed urban environments. So this is the Atrociraptor that chased Claire. Interesting. However, I wouldn't say it's a highly skilled hunter. Claire was just run. Claire's not trained to be a hardcore parkour or anything like that. And yet she could get away from it. So I don't think that actually Tiger is a skilled hunter. In fact, only one Atrociraptor that we see and don't know about the extended cut actually managed to land an attack on somebody. You've also got the Tyrannometrodon. Uh, the weight of Tyrannometrodon's dorsal sail and thick skull, both inherited from its Dimetrodon ancestor, makes this hybrid significantly slower than other Tyrannosauruses. It specializes in preying on large, slow-moving herbivores. Very interesting. Now, could this be a Rexy hybrid? It's very likely it could be a Rexy hybrid, although it's literally Rexy's called Rexy, so I don't think it would be. It would be, but it appears that either T-Rex Gen 2 or T-Rex is getting another one. Um, also, a new raid. Sorry, this is the Apex, the Alcronix raid. And every kind of update, we've had a new Apex. We just got one with the Indonemis, so there's a, ha there's a chance that it could be an Apex raid. Um, I don't know. It might just be... I mean, if we've got Pulma Scorpius, Pulma Scorpius could, the scorpion could even be a common. It would be interesting, and I'd love it for it being common, because then it's a high chance of us getting it. Uh, but then it's got the Sundus Scorpius, and then the Alcronix. Um, Alcritics doesn't say anything about hybrids, but the Sundgopterus actually has, you know, two names put together. So that means that that one's probably a hybrid and maybe this other one's an apex. There is one other uh, hybrid that has been found or at least a description of it. And this is the Pyrosuchus, which could be a Pyraptor hybrid. I, uh, you know, original. I'd love it to be that. But it's probably more likely going to be a Pyrogen 2 hybrid. And the description for this reads as such. This bulky Pyroraptor hybrid is adapted for hunting in both land and aquatic environments. And can even keep pace with a more slender Pyroraptor on the run. So it's a Suchus. So it could be a lot of different things. It could be a Sarkasuchus hybrid, a Peritosuchus hybrid. Um, but I mean, that remains to be seen. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it at the time being. But it does appear we're going to get some interesting hybrids on the way, um, which is always good. I'm, I'm always game for, you know, something new, something interesting. And finally, I have another push for the Alberta Serbia. Hey, a 30. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. I can get it to level 29. And then it's going to be a freaking slog to get it to level 30. And by that point, there'll be an update and... I don't know. Maybe there'll be something better. Uh, the reason why, I don't know if I explained in the last video, this is, I'm actually having to use it, is because it has a swap in that affects flocks. And flocks are pretty much used in every game. In fact, when I'm talking about this, how about we just go in and have a few battles and just to prove a point. Oh, also, I forgot to mention the Ankyloceratops is being put in the game, apparently. At least the description is there, so it might be in the game. And that was one of the hybrids that could have been in the game, but wasn't voted for. So it looks like that's finally getting a hybrid. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but anyway, here we go in the battle. Um, I always, I like to start with Indonemis first, but it never, I mean, this is a, I don't know if this is a very good team, really. <laughs> but we'll start with Indonemis first. Ooh, you know what? It's actually not the worst thing in the world. In fact, I'm very, for some reason... I am now coming across Forexes, and I have not seen Forexes in a freaking long time. <laughs> so this is quite interesting, actually. So we increase our attack, decrease its its attack, um, also slow it down, which is perfect, um, because I think that's one of Forex's weaknesses, is that it can be sped reduced. Um, now it will probably go for its critical sidestep. Um, and with that being said, I would assume 
the, the amount of damage we're going to do to it when we swap out and also switching an Alberta Servia, no matter what it does. Oh, it's, it's swapping anyway. Interesting. Okay, so he's probably going to be swapping in a Compsoraptor, I would assume. And then that might even kill me on the swap out if it's a Max Compsoraptor. We'll see. Hopefully it is a flock. Oh, God, it is a Max Compsoraptor. Oh, God, is it Max, though? Oh, I think it has enough to kill me in one. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Okay, but maybe we'll actually get the free swap in. That would be good. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, that, that's the problem with Indemis. It, it's it's not something you can start with, it, uh, unfortunately, even though it, we, it kind of wants you to. So hopefully we're going to swap out, um, and then we get the Alberta Servia swapping. And, oh, we don't even get that. Oh, fantastic. Um, now he can go... Oh, God, oh, God, I forgot about the, the freaking timer. The timer is still glitched with um, Indom and Emmys because it takes so long to do the animations. Um, so we can do that. So we may as well... I mean, what's he gonna do? Go for playful pounds. He's still gonna do a lot of damage. Didn't get the crit. That's kind of unlucky because he would have killed me. <laughs> um, actually, uh, I don't know if we're gonna kill him. <laughs> Survives. Oh, fantastic. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. If I was level 30, I probably would have killed him. But because I'm not, I'm now down 2 1. And, and that's just the unfortunate thing with this game. Like, that one level or two levels, especially when you're up here, makes such a difference. Like, because of that, I'm down one. My Rex is taking a big chunk. Um, and I don't have any, like, setup. I'm at the mercy now. Actually, I'm I thought I was down 2-1, but I'm down... I was down 2 nail. <laughs> and, I mean, there's a lot of things that encounter Rex once I've done my priority. Um, and it's just like, he could... Yeah, for Rex even... Like, that's it. His Forex goes for his instant attack. And there you go. A 3-1 victory. Wow. Maybe... The... <laughs> I've got to love it. Gotta, gotta love the thanks. You're welcome. Well played. Not really. I had a terrible team out. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that is... And I'm ranked 358. Unfortunately, the reason why I'm just not feeling this game anymore. In fact, actually... Um, I was, you know, after seeing, you know, just how quickly the game can change on a dime after an update, after things get, uh, like, nerfed and boosted, I'm in this position where I can't, I want to be like, bye. Like, I want to be like, no more Jurassic World. I don't, I don't want to do this because I don't want to support this practice of, you know, microtransactions all the time. But saying that at the same time, I can't say no to this because what if something good comes out? What if they change something? I mean, you know, if I was to say goodbye to Jurassic World Live and then they fix the game, then I think I wouldn't have a problem coming back to it. Uh, but however, that's not going to happen. But you know, what if a new hybrid comes out that's like Indo something? I have to kind of cover that. So I can't say oh, goodbye Jurassic World for life. I'm stuck to it like friggin' handcuffs, unfortunately. Uh, did I? Yes, I did. I did get a go first. Okay, okay. So he's faster. Takes a big chunk of bleed. Um, and I mean, he does have an attack that hits everything, doesn't it? Or attacks all opponents. Um, I think I'm okay. Oh, he's swapping. Oh, he's very clever. Very clever. Good use of a Hydro Boa there. Very good use. I think it might... Kill me one hit? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I like how when I don't want... Like, okay, I'm dead. Can I just, like, stay in? No, 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 no. You have to swap that in now. <laughs> I don't get the, the chance to, uh, you know, then choose something. But when I want the chance for it to swap in... Oh, yeah. Perfect. Wow. Yay. <laughs> and this is the thing. Like, it's not that... My, I think there's, there's a few dinosaurs now that are at the top that have added. Like, the, the, the roster was very small with the last update, but now there's a lot of them. Um, so it does mean that it takes just a, a lot longer to kind of work out, um, you know, what I need. If I see my team line up, how I need to approach it. Um, so maybe there's a couple of things, maybe one dinosaur I need to swap in for something else that would just really add that balance to my team. Whereas at the moment, I'm, I think I'm just too specific to one type of battle. And if I don't get those opponents, ah, pretty much 3-1 loss. <laughs> this one's probably going to be a 3-2 loss, I would assume. Um, unless he gets lucky here. 
Uh, he could get lucky with the stun. There's a very small chance that he could get that. I'm resistant by 75% chance. The stun's like 75% chance. He didn't get it. Now I need the crit in order. And I had a 45% chance to crit. Huh, that seems lower than normal. I've, I've survived for some reason. That is crazy. Um, I could stay in here and... I mean, what did he have before? He had a Hydro Bow, which is probably definitely going to be faster. So, uh, he's probably just going to fold that off. Oh, no, he swat. Why, though? Why would he And He's probably got, like, a Alberta or something. Oh, ref? Oh, because Ref. Very clever. If I went for my priority... Would have done damage. So, that was well played. Like, if people well played... I'm all for it. But when the game is just like broken, it's like, oh, that's no fun. <laughs> so I'm hoping he, he he's going to have to go for his priority here. He's going to have to. Yeah. I mean, he didn't technically have to. He could have went for like nullifying. But uh, at least this way, I can get my Comsoraptor in here. Like I said, I think this is a 3-2 loss to or win to him. Because um, I, I don't have enough health on Dilo Kairos to swap it in and comfortably... We'll just have to see. <laughs> we'll have to see. I think he can swap out next turn, but if he does that, he's pretty much dead. Um, I mean, he's pretty much dead now, as it is. Um, I mean, I could go for my Rampage and Run, and... Oh, I could even go for a priority and then Rampage and Run later. What did he have first? I've completely forgotten what his first dinosaur was. <laughs> a Sonosaurus. That was it. It was the Sona Hybrid. If that is the case, then Comsoraptor's not good. And I could very easily just go for Rampage and Run, if that's it. But there's something else hidden, and I can't remember what it is. What is it? It's just a Skunasaurus? It's not Sona. Sona's the pre preview. Okay, he's got to have something. He's got to have the Alberta, right? He's Do I risk it and go for the Rampage and Run and maybe die or you know let's just do it let's, if he's got alberta servia whatevs like oh he did it Woo! I, actually it depends how much damage he does he does 4052 damage now he has 20 percent less chance to crit than my rex he did doesn't mean that he's not gonna get a crit it just means if he does get a crit it's a feels bad <laughs> he would have killed me, I think. And there we go. Actually, it was a 3-2 victory to me. Hey, complained the whole time, but he actually won. Uh, that's pro like, I I never see Sonus. I never see four Rexes in the top league. It's because I've dropped down 300. That's what's happened. These people, oh, I mean, maybe, maybe there's something to be said for it. Maybe the four Rex is great against something. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to this update. Because I'm looking forward to seeing like the new hybrids. I'm looking forward to seeing a new animation as well. That's going to be really cool. The scorpion as well. I, the first time ever we've had an arthropod in anything Jurassic related. Apart from, officially, not mods. Apart from Jurassic Park Builder. So, I don't know whether it's just the case of Dominion's done now. It's going to take a while to get a new movie out. No matter who no There's going to be people out there on the internet that say, We're going to get a Jurassic Park movie every year. I would love that. It's probably not going to happen for another three. Remember, it took them three years to get freaking, what was it, Dominion done or any of the other ones that took, took Dominion like five years, actually. But anyway, it's going to be like another like five or three years, three to five years till we get another movie, I'm going to say. Um, so they're now thinking, right, what do we do in the past? Arthropods, let's go. And you know what? I'm all here for it. I'd love to see them. I just wish that Ludia would find a different way to you know, use their game and not make it so microtransaction heavy and punish people for, you know, not playing. It's not that, you know, playing the game. It's like you have to be, I don't know. It just feels like the people who you know, spend the most money are in the top alliances and get the better rewards when it comes to tournaments and everything like that. And it's just like, well, the rich, the, the people who spend get better. And I don't know, man. It's just, it's just not a good feeling. It's not a good, I don't feel like the game's in a good place. And it hasn't been for a while since Ludia has found out that's the way in order to make the most money. But here I am complaining and I've done it myself. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. <laughs>